we're wanting to pick them up from the paddock and we're wanting to pick them up as frequently as possible. It is a very difficult thing to do and a very easy thing for me to stand here telling you that you should do. But the reason we want to get them in as early as possible is because colostrum needs to be into our calves um, within the first 24 hours of birth. When a calf is born, um, its gut isn't quite formed yet. Hopefully you can see that from the back. I did science at university, not art, as you'll be able to see. Um, the gut's not completely formed. So the immunoglobulins that are improving the immune system of the calf and helping it fight any infection, they can get through these gaps here. So they can come out and be absorbed by the calf easily into the bloodstream. After 24 hours, these little gaps um, start closing up so you'll have a fully formed gut. It's very, very difficult at that point, or near impossible, to get any absorption of immunoglobulins. So they just sit in the gut. That's not to say at 24 hours stop feeding colostrum, because we really want to keep going for as long as possible where, where that isn't an option. But when they're sitting in the gut, they can start acting on the bacteria that are in there. So you're going to be getting um, an improvement in gut function and gut health, which is going to improve your calves. Anything you can do to improve gut function is going to reduce the uh, level of scours that you've got in your calves. And if you're not dealing with scours and the calves aren't either, uh, it's going to be much less stress or more stress free for you. And the calves are going to have more energy for growth instead of uh, looking, at the scour, uh, looking at fixing the problem. Picking up from the paddock, what time might you pick up? Give me an example of what time you might pick your calves up. 10.30, okay. So if you pick them up at 10.30 um, and one is born at 11.30, you're going to have um, 23 hours to wait before that calf comes into the shed. And by the time you've got round to giving it colostrum, you could be on the level of your 24 hours. If you're then picking them up again in the afternoon, you've got, um, say, 6.30, dependent on, of course, what else you've got going on. You've got a shorter period of time for bringing the calves in um, and for them having to wait till you've got colostrum. If you can't get and pick them up, you can always take the colostrum to the calves. Anything that you can do to get the colostrum in earlier is better. If you can pick them up again first thing in the morning and do three times pick up if you pick up before milking, it's fabulous. You don't always have to get your cows in. Uh, it's very nice if you do, um, but you don't have to bring them in as well, as long as the calf's there. You do need to be aware though, once the cow has calved, her colostrum quality starts dropping um, from the time she calves, not from time of first milking. It's also quite nice if you can get feed into your cows as soon as they've calved, because if you look at this paddock, there's not that much pasture in there. Um, it's not the best feed for a freshly calved cow. So if you can put her over a fence line into somewhere with um, more of a break or a palm kernel trough or any sort of feed, the sooner she gets feeder into herself, the better she'll milk because she'll get over the calving much more quickly. Mm -hmm.